Yeah, it doesn't work so for So many me. reasons. You say, Helen Mark Kimball, and people, he didn't have sex. We can't prove that there was any sex with Helen Mark Kimball, the 14-year-old. It's like, why is that even an argument? Because sex would have been allowed religiously, according yeah. to Joseph's yeah. doctrine. And mm -hmm. future prophets carrying the same prophetic mantle also engaged in sex for which there is progeny. So it doesn't do anything. That should not even, if they wanted to be internally consistent, they would have said, yeah, he, maybe he did have sex with Harold Mark Kimball. What of it? It was sanctioned by God. It was approved. It wasn't adultery. Even the parents gave consent. So what's the big deal? Why are you worried about it? But they know mm -hmm. that will not fly. They know that um, grinds against the conscience of anyone looking at that because they know that when you make that concession, there's no longer any way to draw any line between Joseph Smith, the prophet, and any of these other religious charlatans who preyed upon women and children in their congregations using divine command, using divine sanction. Yeah, yeah, that's, that is the line that is drawn in the sand, and that's why they can't concede to it. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, that's, I think, just one of those reasons, like in the book, A Ghost of Polygamy, when she talks about the reasons why polygamy was instigated, and then she refutes every single one of them, and that is exactly correct. If we've gone down that path before, people have gone down the path of if it was supposed to be to multiply and replenish, and you even talked about that today, how come Joseph didn't have any kids? We don't know if he had any kids. This is so undocumented. If documents were burned, how do we know? We don't know. You know? Not only that, but the counselor, the first counselor to the presidency up until 1842 was an abortionist, John C. Bennett. And we know mm -hmm. he was an abortionist because Joseph and Hiram themselves accused him of being that. Now, they only accused oh, him of being that once he was their enemy, but that means they mm -hmm. knew he was while he was their friend, which means that they mm -hmm. could have called on his services. It's not just Sarah Pratt, the apostate, saying that John C. Bennett was an abortionist. It's actually Joseph and Hiram themselves.